The, the windrows are like monsters over there. It's going to take us all day. So, what? You just feel that big deal? I feel like it. Do you want me to rake all that top? Hmm. Let's see how it goes first. I don't know if I have enough snackage for the day. So last year, Ryder went with me everywhere. This year, it's Dolly. Ryder's kind of gotten too big to sit underneath my feet. Not to mention, he doesn't really uh, get as used about going. He only wants to check in with cattle. So a lot of times, he just hangs out with Jason and rides along with him to deliver hay. And Dolly goes with me everywhere. We're getting ready to have puppies out of her mama and Ryder. So stay tuned. Um, she's getting pretty close every day. Closer every day. Where are you seeing Dolly? Do you like going with mama? Ah, back down this gravel road again. This is the third time so far today. I went down with the truck. I went down with the other tractor. I'm going down with the mailer. Um, I got some good wind rows raked. Uh, Jason got back just as Carol had come and got me. So, mailer has been greased, and I'm hoping he's coming over soon because um, I went and got fuel but didn't fill myself up. So, that's real smart. So, hopefully, he's coming soon. Monster. Monster. Jam-packed of sitting in a tractor. 
that's what we do and that's what we love. But if you're only going to get a couple hundred bales for yourself, is it really worth it all the upkeep and the ink, you know, the equipment? That, that's something you guys have to figure out if you're doing it for yourselves. Us, you know, yeah, we do the hay for ourselves, but for the most part, 90%, 85 to 90% of the hay we bale is for our customers, our clients. If we don't bail pay, then we can't pay our bills. Quite and simple. Oh, this get loader man in here. I don't know, can you guys see him bobbing around back there? From sun up to sundown is going to be hay, hay, hay. So, got my uh, go fuel. Jason's got two loads of hay to unload. Actually, no, that's not true. He's got all of them but one to unload. So, four trailers to unload. So, we can go finish loading um, this almost 800 that's in the field this morning that we didn't get done yesterday because the dew set on and it got late. So, he's got unload. I'm going to do all my morning chores this morning and uh, knock out a few things here before we get busy. Um, while he's unloading, um, on average it takes him about 30 minutes to unload a trailer, give or take. Um, for many of you guys that are new, welcome to Wizork Farms. It means a lot that you guys stopped in, checked us out, subscribed, keep watching us. It does. Um, I already got the little tractor in. I want to finish trying to get my stalls kind of picked up and organized and cleaned up. I need to let the chickens out this morning because Carol went and did some running for us. So uh, we kind of tag team each other's stuff when one of us or the other isn't here. So we're gonna do that. Uh, kids will be down. They're gonna help me do a few things this morning. And then they're gonna go with Mo, our farm intern. So she helps out during the week sometimes. Um, with them as well because the days get long. They are hot. They're calling for 97 degree weather for the next few days here in Missouri. Hot, hot. Um, I still need to move my feed, but that may be a Saturday project because it's just how it is um, sometimes. Priorities, right? It's under the weather and I know that we're not gonna be needing to move it because there's other stuff in the barn. Um, Anywho, what I was saying about um, Jason unloading the trailers, because Suzanne and I were talking about this yesterday um, while I was bailing. Um, if you guys um, haven't checked out her channel, she's WT Farm Girl. Link it right there. Her and I have kind of become buddies um, this hay season, just talking about different things. She was talking about how it took her and Eric quite a while to load one trailer. I'm like, well, Jason's been doing this six years, with seven years, with the, the skid loader and the grapple. Um, 
his first time wasn't very pretty either but I don't have video of that and he's been doing it this long he knows it's just a muscle memory type thing now so uh, if I was to get in the skid loader and try to load it would take us all day to get a trailer loaded which we don't have time for that um, maybe someday I'll learn how to load and unload but the system we have right now works for us and I'm doing a lot of chittery tattery where I could be working um, so I'll just take you guys with me Good morning, Scooter. When we got in late last night, I just left Shiloh and Leah out in the round pen and fed them out there. So, feed Scooter this morning. And Rocky, I'll rearrange the barn and bring in mine so I can get them fed and uh, probably move them back out. Scooter has to stay in because of his asthma breathing issue. Otherwise, he would be outside too. Probably down with the mares, but unfortunately... His allergies just doesn't allow him to do that. So, good morning, Dolly. Scooter's talking to me. Hi, buddy. Hey, buddy. You gonna tell everybody else hi on YouTube? Come on. There you go. Good stuff. He is Jason's roper. He's 20 years old. Um, Jason doesn't get to rope very much anymore. We just don't have time for it. Maybe this fall we'll get to go and ride and do some different stuff. But during the summer, it's just just hard priorities in life. But keep him up, make him feel good, don't we? All right, buddy. I don't have time to play and brush you today. I'm sorry. Yeah. Eat breakfast. Those days I'm going to get that sign down and update it from many many moons ago from when Jason first started it's been with Zork Farms for like the last seven and a half years one day one day when I have extra time I'm gonna go out there with the tractor and take the sign down and peel the lettering and repaint it oh hey there comes my semi perfect timing I think you made my windrows bigger today than yesterday. Oh, yeah. <sighs> well, There's a lot of hay. At least we got it. What is this? What? Here you go. What is this? Oh, hey. <laughs> hey. Hey, hey, hey. That's right. Hey, hey, hey. Probably pick it up all night. Yep, probably. At least I, well, I tried to park the baler in the shade. I got in the shade.
What do you go through a tub of grease every day, every week? Mm, at least two per day, at least. Mm, more than that. This that's just on the bailey. We'd be lost without your grease gun, wouldn't we? Pretty much all our Milwaukee stuff. <laughs> Leaf blower, grease gun, impacts. This is like the best tool. <laughs> life a lot Thank you. 
think the whole car made 5,000 something or right under it or right shy of it. Um, and we were right at and shy of 5,000 subscribers. So here's the deal. If you guys can help push us to 10,000 subscribers, share us with your friends, share us with your family, put us out there on your social media pages. You can follow me on social media, um, Chronicles of the Farmer's Wife. That's on Instagram and uh, Facebook. I don't do a whole lot of TikTok. It's not really my thing. Actually, it's I'm a little old for it. It makes me feel like. And uh, Mom tried to, Marie, our intern, tried to explain it to me, and it's like, you know what? Not worth it. So I'm good without that one. But uh, we really are striving to share our story with everybody. And the more you guys share it, the more we others or let somebody, you know, maybe they're questioning what about a different baler, you know, an inline baler, or they want to know more about the accumulator. Guys, I use it every day, almost every day, for six or seven months, weather permitting. I think I know a few things. Uh, you know, maybe they want to know more about first generation farmers and how they can get started. Just start doing it. Just start small. You don't have to be big and have millions of dollars to start small. We didn't. Jason's been doing this for 15 years. I mean, it started out in FFA. I mean, do you see our little running around truck? It's nothing fancy. Yes, we have some newer equipment. Because Jason does not like always to be working on everything by himself. I'm not a mechanic. I will sit there and hand him tools and I will sit there and talk to him or hold something or whatever but I'm not mechanically inclined I can fix my baler sometimes I can fix the accumulator sometimes tractor goes down not so much he knows this that was in the signed contract oh. turned out to be a lot more than me talking huh see it 
here as much as home. Um, but there's a huge haze going on and it is super hot and it's just making things real funky out to see. Um, from the wildflower, wildflowers, wildfires. Uh, I ran home because I needed fuel. Right. Check out my uh, cute stickers there. So I made Jason run the bailer and see what it's like with these massive windrows. Like, guys, look at these. Look at these suckers. Hip high. Hip high. Yep. No jumping them. I wonder how hot he is. <sighs> Definitely putting these new boots to work. Definitely.